I'm Daniel Mattiola, pastor at the Kingdom Faith Church in Milton Keynes, saying a big God bless you. You know, at a time like this, when we are dealing with a pandemic in our nation, um, we have the power of prayer. We can pray and prayer avails much. I just want to remind you very quickly in James chapter 5 verse 16, that the Bible says the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. I believe it's the amplified version of it that goes something like this. The effectual, earnest, felt, and fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much and makes tremendous power available that is dynamic in its working. Prayer releases power. Prayer moves the hand of God. Prayer causes heaven to intervene in the affairs of the earth. The Bible says concerning with the children of God that we've been given authority to call heaven's attention into the affairs of the earth. Jesus put it this way in Matthew 16, 19. He said, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. In other words, as long as you're in line with the will and the plan and the purpose of God, you can choose or declare that certain things are disallowed from happening in your world and heaven will back you up and you can speak over your world the things that you want to allow and heaven will also back you up. So we don't pray because it's some religious ritual. We pray because it works. In a moment, you're going to have or see some members of our church, the Kingdom Faith Church of Milton Keynes. You know, we're so blessed. We have people come from different nations, different ethnicities, and different tongues. And you'll be hearing these members pray over the city and over the nation in English language as well as in their mother tongue. So if any of these languages sound familiar to you, just go ahead and say amen because you're going to be hearing languages from Italian to uh, Spanish to uh, Polish to even African languages. And we just want to cover our city in prayer. Now, if you're not from Milton Keynes, I challenge you do the same. Whatever city you're from, adopt your city. Pray over your city at this time. Declare the word of the Lord over your city. At our church in Milton Keynes, Kingdom Faith Church, we decided 11 days ago to begin to pray and call upon the God of heaven. We pray 6 a.m. in the morning. We pray 6 p.m. in the evening. And we've been doing this every day. We initially declared 14 days of this prayer. But you know something? We're beginning to sense that we're going to keep praying like this until we see the breakthrough that we desire. So before uh, some of our church family folks begin to lead you in prayer, I want to start. I want to lead a prayer over Milton Keynes very quickly. So if you're with me, please go ahead and say amen and agree. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I just thank you for this opportunity to call upon your name. You are the God of heaven. You are the almighty great I am. You are the one who was, who is, and who is to come. You are the everlasting king of glory. You are the I am that I am. You are still the most powerful, the wisest, the all-sufficient one, the all-able one. You created this earth. You created mankind. And Father God, you are all-powerful and all-able to take care of matters to do with mankind. So, Father, I come before you today and I pray over my city, the city of Milton Keynes. First, I ask, oh God, let your kingdom come over the city and let your will be done. Father, we understand, oh God, that when your kingdom comes, you extend the atmosphere of heaven into the earth realm. And we pray in the name of Jesus, with your kingdom comes power to destroy the works of the evil one. Father, we thank you, Lord, instead of an atmosphere, Hello, my name is Martin. I am a member of the Kingdom Faith Church here in Milton Keynes. Father God, I thank you for Jesus. He was prepared to lay down his life for us. Jesus, thank you for taking my sin away and showing me the way back to worshipping the Father. A prayer for Milton Keynes in English. Father God, I thank you for bringing me to this town to help build it and to bring up my family here. 
We are a multicultural town with many people from around the country and around the world living here. Father God, as you are aware, many of us in this town of Milton Keynes are on lockdown due to this coronavirus. I ask you to give us patience to wait it out, courage to know we will get through this and wisdom to do the right thing. Father God, we are believing for a miraculous end to this coronavirus, a bringing together of your people and a town that puts its trust and belief in you. It's your breath in our lives, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise, it's your breath. Good evening, my name is Leanne Samuel. I'm a member of Kingdom Faith Church in Melton Keynes and this evening we are coming together as a church to pray for a United Kingdom, to pray for the nation uh, in this situation we are in. Uh, I just want to read in, in my own mother tongue a scripture and the scripture would be in 2 Chronic 7 verse 14 Und wenn mein Volk, über den mein Name ausgerufen ist, sich demütigt und sie beten und suchen mein Angesicht und kehren um vor ihren bösen Wegen, dann werde ich vom Himmel her hören und ihre Sünden vergeben und ihr Land heilen. In Jesu Namen, Vater, wir kommen bevor dir heute mit einem demütigen Herzen und wir bitten dir um dein Eingreifen. Vater, ich bring dir das Land Österreich, meine Brüder und Schwestern in Deutschland und alle deutschsprachigen Länder sowie die Schweiz, Vater. Ich bring sie vor deinen Thron und ich danke dir, Jesus, dass du ihre Herzen ermutigst. Vater, ich sprich Heilung über alle Menschen, die diesen Virus haben und die darunter leiden. Vater, ich danke dir, dass du, Jesus, jetzt Heilung bringst, weil du sagst in deinem Wort. Wir sind geheilt durch die Striemen Jesu Christi, Vater. Ich bete auch für die Menschen, die äh, jemanden äh, verloren haben durch den Virus, Vater, die, die traurig sind. Du sagst in deinem Wort, du bist der Heiler und der Tröster. Ich sprich jetzt deinen Trost und deine Heilung über diese Menschen in ihre Herzen. In Jesu Namen, Vater, ich danke dir auch, dass wir als Brüder und Schwestern, Vater, für unsere Nachbarn aufstehen, dass wir ihnen helfen. Vater, danke, dass, dass deine Liebe uns Motiv ist. Vater, danke, dass du den, den Menschen äh, äh, ermutigst in ihre Herzen. In Jesu Namen. Amen. Hi everyone. My name is Dominic Quire and I'm part of Kingdom Faith Church based in Milton Keynes, United Kingdom. This evening I'm going to be praying for the city of Milton Keynes in my native language, which is French. Père éternel, je loue ton nom. Je te glorifie, toi le Dieu tout-puissant. Rien n'est impossible à toi. Tu règnes sur ton trône pour l'éternité. Je prie que ta volonté soit faite. Je prie que tes desseins s'accomplissent, même dans ces temps difficiles où COVID-19 semble triompher et mettre ce monde à genoux, tuer des innocents, Père éternel, étant ta main, tu dis ta main n'est pas trop courte pour secourir et que tu entends la prière des justes et tu délivres, alors nous prions pour ta miséricorde. Parce que tu dis ta miséricorde triomphe du jugement. Père éternel, je prie que tu libères tes anges à cet instant présent. Je me tiens à la brèche, couvert dans le sang de l'agneau, le sang tout puissant qui guérit et qui délivre. Père éternel, étends ta main, étends ta main sur ce peuple de Milton Keynes et fais leur grâce. Et je me repens, Seigneur, pour eux ceux qui ne t'ont pas connu, pour ce que leurs parents ont pu faire, Seigneur. Et de livrer cette ville aux mains de l'ennemi. Père éternel, le sang de l'agneau. Je plaide le sang de l'agneau sur cette ville de Milton Keynes et pour venir détruire tous les effets démoniaques concernant cette ville et qu'ils soient libérés dans les cœurs, dans les esprits. 
sois amené au salut, Seigneur. Et qu'ils connaissent cette alliance que tu as avec tes enfants pour les protéger, les garder. Je prie, Seigneur, pour tes églises basées à Milton Keynes, qui travaillent la main dans la main, Seigneur, dans l'union, sous l'onction de ton Saint-Esprit, pour l'avancement de ton évangile. Ceux qui ne te connaissent pas dans cette ville de Milton Keynes, qui donnent leur vie à ton Fils Jésus-Christ et qui soient sauvés du jugement à venir. Père éternel, guéris les malades, ceux qui sont dans les hôpitaux, même dans leurs demeures, ceux qui sont coincés, ceux qui sont âgés et qui meurent, les enfants, Seigneur, et en ta main. Fais grâce, fais grâce, Père éternel. J'appelle à ta miséricorde, Père éternel. Attends le cri de tes enfants et guéris. Et que seule ta volonté soit faite sur cette terre, sur cette ville de Milton Keynes, comme dans les cieux. Oh. Hi everyone, my name is Ashla Karpovich and I'm a member of Kingdom Faith Church in Milton Keynes. I'd like to pray. Heavenly Father, King of Kings, King of Glory. I come before your throne right now at this moment boldly and I pray for your healing powers. I pray for your mercy upon all the people and upon all the land that is struggling and suffering right now. Father, no one can do what you can do, Father, because you are a miracle worker. You are a story changer. You are a bondage breaker. You are mighty God. Father, I pray for your divine interver intervention right now. Heal us, oh Father, because we need you. We need your mercy. We need your grace in our lives, Father. Father, I pray for those who are suffering right now, who are struggling physically and mentally. Father, have mercy upon them and fill them with your spirit. Bless them, almighty God. In your precious name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. And I also would like to pray in my mother tongue, which is Polish. Ojcze, Boże Ojcze Wszechmogący, Król Królów, przychodzę do Ciebie w tym momencie, proszę Cię Ojcze, modlę się o łaskę, o łaskę miłosierdzie nad nami Ojcze, nad każdym, każdym z nas Ojcze, kto, każdym kto się męczy, każdym który, który jest, ma depresję, jest mu źle. Boże, wybacz nam, wybacz nam każdy grzech, jaki popełniliśmy. Boże, miej miłosierdzie nad całym lat, nad całym krajem nad nami, Ojcze. Ojcze, modlę się o, tw o Twoją łaskę, modlę się, aby, abyś, Ojcze, uzdrowił land, abyś uzdrowił wszystkich, wszystko, co tu się dzieje, Ojcze. Bo my jesteśmy niczym bez Ciebie i Ty dodajesz nam siły, Ty jesteś naszą siłą, bo Ty możesz zrobić wszystko. Nie ma drugiej takiej osoby, która może zrobić to, co Ty możesz, Ojcze. Miej nad nami swoją łaskę. W imię Jezusa Chrystusa. Amen. Hello, my name is Yvonne and I'm a member of the Kingdom Faith Church in Milton Keynes. And I just wanted to say a quick short prayer um, in both English and Italian um, concerning our land today with the COVID-19 situation. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I ask, oh God, for healing. Father, Lord, I ask, oh God, that Father, in the season, you will heal our land. For everyone that has tested positive, we ask for healing in the name of Jesus. We ask that anyone that is sick with symptoms, any, any form of symptom, that Father, Lord, the power of Christ begin to heal people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, against the spirit of fear, we speak joy against the spirit of fear we speak strength against the spirit of fear we speak a miracle in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth satan we say you do not have a foothold in our lives in the name of jesus satan we say the power of christ the blood of jesus is against you in the season in the mighty name of jesus vorrei pregare in italiano per tutti i cittadini italiani italiani Vorrei dire, abbiate coraggio, sappiate che Gesù è grande, Gesù ci guarirà, questo passerà. 
prima che sappiamo nel nome di Gesù chiediamo Padre nostro che sia in cielo chiediamo perdono per i nostri peccati chiediamo Gesù che in questo periodo guarisci la nostra terra nel nome di Gesù chiediamo che il sangue di Gesù pulirà tutto il mondo che questo virus questo corona coronavirus che andrà via nel nome di Gesù chiediamo Gesù che perdoni tutti quelli che hanno peccato contro di te e chiediamo che Gesù in questo periodo per tutti quelli che hanno paura per tutti quelli che sono depressi per tutti quelli che non hanno soldi per tutti quelli che hanno perso lavoro per tutti quelli che non si sentono liberi chiediamo Gesù che vieni e guarisci tutti nel nome di Gesù chiediamo per più forza per tutti nel nome di Gesù chiediamo per più protezione per tutti i, tu- i tuoi bambini in questo, mo- in, questo, in questo mondo nel nome di Gesù Gesù chiediamo Gesù che vieni e guarisci la nostra terra chiediamo perdono chiediamo per forza miracoli nel nome di Gesù e per tutti quelli in governo Gesù chiediamo che, che toccherai i nostri presidenti i tutti i, i, i seneti, tutti i governo, che tocchi tutti, che prenderanno decisioni, che favorirà tutti noi, che favorirà tutti noi, decisioni che, 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 che favorirà tutti noi nel nome di Gesù. Chiediamo per più forza, chiediamo per, per libertà nel nome di Gesù, chiediamo che la luce, la luce che illumina dal cielo, dal paradiso, che, che verrà nella nostra terra nel nome di Gesù chiediamo per più forza miracoli in questo momento in questo periodo nel nome di Gesù grazie Signore grazie se, ci, Signore che ci ami grazie che ci vuoi bene e ti vogliamo bene anche a te nel nome di Gesù grazie ciao a tutti forza coraggio Dio è grande questo passerà non abbiate paura nel nome di Gesù non abbiate paura abbi fede nel nome di Gesù Amen Good evening, my brothers and sisters. It's me, your sister Hadassah. I come from the congregation of Kingdom Faith in Milton Keynes, and we are joining to this change of praying for this land. Praying for the healing of this land. We are crying as the sons of the living God. We are crying for the healing of Milton Keynes, the land that our father has given us. I will pray a little bit in English, and I will pray in my mother tongue, which is Spanish. Please follow me and uh, let the healing start. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, my God, my King, my Redeemer, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come bold in front of the throne of grace, my God, to ask you for healing in this land. To ask you, my God and my Savior, to the core, the core to your word, you say, if my people who are called by my name humble themselves, Seek me in prayer and turn from the wicked ways I will hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Father, in fasting and prayer, we have humbled ourselves, my God. We have hearkened our ears to your decree and your decree. We, our heart has turned back to you, oh my God and my Savior. And I ask you, my God, heal the land. Father, I come boldly in front of you, in front of the throne of the Most High God, the God who heart is in men, the God who has who give his begotten son, the only one, for heal the land that nobody will perish, but all who believe in Jesus will be saved. Father, those of Father, those of who were Gentiles, those of all that have been saved, oh Father, for the pestilence of Father of death, we are humbling ourselves the day of today, and we are asking you, Father, Father, deliver, deliver the land of this is this pestilence, deliver the land and heal the land once again, so the people will rejoice. Your people and the people of the land will rejoice in your name will rejoice in your goodness Adonai Adonai in your name we trust in your name we trust but we are not asking just only for us we are not asking just only for our well-being for our healing and for our protection we are asking for the healing of the land so the people of the land my God will rejoice once again in the name which is above all name in the name of Jehovah Rapha. Padre, mi Dios y mi Salvador, majestad. 
Hoy vengo como hija del Dios Altísimo delante de tu trono, pidiéndote misericordia para esta tierra, pidiéndote que sea tu espíritu, mi Dios, de que así como en el principio la tierra estaba vacía, Padre, y sin orden, mi Dios, así esta tierra y esta nación, así está Milton Kane de rodillas ante tu nombre, así están los hombres, oh Padre, con miedos, oh Padre, así están los que aún no te han conocido, y muchos de tus hijos, se descarría, no padre, porque la tierra sulfura purus, la tierra sulfura pus, mi Dios y mi Salvador, ¿qué mano podrá sacarnos de esto si no la tuya? ¿Quién será nuestro médico para las, para, para las grietas de la tierra? ¿Quién puede aliviar el dolor de esta tierra si no a ti? A ti, nuestro Señor y nuestro Salvador. Abba, a ti revolvemos nuestra, nuestra súplica en este día Señor para que sanes la tierra para que sanes la tierra con tu mano protectora para que sanes esta tierra que tú nos has dado y nos has dicho Señor Jehová que nosotros tus hijos heredaríamos Señor, tú dijiste que sacarías a todos los gigantes de esta tierra y que nuestros hijos oh Padre Señor eterno majestad en tu gloria viviríamos en esta tierra Padre te pido una vez más, mi Dios, mi majestad, que esta tierra sea limpiada, que sus pecados sean limpiados, que la, la maldad y el pus que hay en esta tierra sea limpiado y que una vez más, oh Padre, la desolación sea quitada y tu mano limpie una vez más la tierra para que los hombres que viven y habitan en esta tierra regocijen que se regocijen en el nombre que es sobre todo nombre y que toda rodilla se doble delante de aquel que nos llevó a la salvación y a la cura de nuestra tierra. Te bendigo Jehová porque tú eres grande. Confío en ti porque tu misericordia es infinita. Bendigo tu nombre Jesucristo, al que está sentado en los tronos, que sea tu misericordia para siempre con tus hijos. Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for connecting via internet to Kingdom Faith Ministries International here in Milton Keynes. My name is Deacon Titilaya Tolbert, and I'm here to make a prayer declaration in my mother tongue, which is Yoruba. Hallelujah. What a privilege that we have to call upon the name of the Lord in such a time as this. The Bible reminds us clearly the heart of the Father for us in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse verse 14 and it says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. Uh, hallelujah. If you understand Yoruba I'd like to encourage you to agree with me in prayer by saying Amen. Li oruko Jesu ni agbara ije Jesu Olu Olorun yi ati agbara. Awasiwaju yin, awasiwaju yin pelu igboya. Li oruko Jesu ni nitori opora ati eje Jesu Kristi ti ata sile ni ori igi agbelebo baba wa pelu igboya nitori orile ede wa ati nitori gbogbo ohun ti o nsele ni asiko yi baba yin lo ba terere kare aye eyin ni oba eleti igbaro yi eyin ni oludariji eyin ni oba tin wo nisan eyin lo lu segun eyin lo lu dande wa wa gbe yin ga yin yin logo awa kepe yin ni asale yi nitori gbogbo ai Shede de wa awa wa toro fun i dari ji e she awa toro fun o i i i i dan de yi olu we wa dari ji wa e wa fori e she wa ji wa olu wa wa kekbe yi ni wa kati o wo ya si ronu po wa da kuro ni nu bobo a shede de wa ati bobo on buru kuti a wa ati da wa le ni ori le de wa baba e wa dari ji wa e wa wo wa san e wa wo orilede wa san li oruko jesu awa kepe yin ki eyin ki o gba agbara lowo ogun eru awa kepe yin ki eyin ko gba agbara lowo corona virus li oruko jesu awa kepe yin baba ki eyin ki o gba agbara lowo aisan buruku yi li oruko jesu baba e wa ran alaafia pada si ago ara wa e wa ran alaafia pada si okan wa e wa ran alaafia pada si emi wa baba e wa ran alaafia yin pada si 
orile ide wa li oruko jesu oluwa eyin ni kan ni ele gba wa la eyin ni kan ni oludande wa eyin ni kan ni ele ele gba agbara lowo ogun yi baba awa kepe yin ni wa ka ti owo ye wa fi oju anu yin e wa si ju anu yin wo wa oluwa e ba wa segun eru oluwa e ba wa dawo ikuduro oluwa e ba wa dawo ibiduro li oruko jesu christi ni awa kepe yin awa dupe lowo yin tori pe amo wi pe yin ti gbo adura wa be ni ki ori li oruko jesu christi oluwa wa ani ani oruko jesu Hi, my name is Frank Njoro, a member of a Kingdom Faith Church, Milton Keynes. My prayer is, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, bring health and healing to our land. Reveal, Lord, your abundance of grace, your saving grace your abundance of peace and truth and love for your glory in Jesus name I'll pray in Swahili for the benefit of uh, my brothers and sisters in Eastern Central Africa Baba yetu wa mbinguni mapenzi yako yatimizwe sisi watu wako tuloitwa kwa jina lako tunanyenyekea na tunakuomba tunatafuta uso wako bwana tunaziachia njia zetu mbaya tunatubu dhambi zetu baba tusamehe turehemu e mungu wetu sikia kilio chetu na utuondolee janga la corona wewe ni jehova rafa mponyaji wetu na kuomba baba ponya mioyo yetu Pio, ponya eh, mji wa Milton Keynes ponya uingereza ponya watu wetu walio jamhuri baba nyosha mkono wako watu wa uone walisifu jina lako uinuliwe bwana tunakubariki uhimidiwe pokea sifa zetu katika jina la Yesu tunaomba and today i stand in prayer along with many of my brethren against the times that we are going through um, i stand upon the word of the lord that comes from second chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 if we can just bow our heads and say a little prayer. Baba, tino uya pambere pinyu nasi. Tino kutendai, ne kutende kakwinyu, uye neru runo shamisa, runo fura jinu jesi. Shoko renyu icho kwadi, uye hari ifira katsoka pasina, uye tino wimba ne wimbi so zinyu ne kutijaka naka. Tino kumbira musitara Jesu kutimure gerere nyika yedu pane jese jivi jatakaita. Sewa nuwewe msoro msoro tino fama msimba. Isu tino mira pambe ripenyo uye tino daizi la ropara Jesu pa Milton Keynes. Nekuti pano fukizwa ne ropara Jesu hapana rufurunga pinde. Izwi renyu rino tikana, tika nyenge tera unonzwa kufa kutenga uye, ucharikele la shivi shedu uye nekupone sanyika yedu. Tino shewe zera musitara jesu kuti tiregerewe uye tepone swe kutarino ne wanwese. Tino sunga mwe ya ye china yese ye shirwele musitara jesu uye tofa tauzo zera kumakomba kwa unofa. Baba, tino kumbira kuti muti zati ne kuti femera ne mwe ya wenyu mchene unopa upenyu kune jese jakafa. Imi muri mwari we rushinji. Mwari we kuporesa. Uye tino daizi la kuti imi mutu re renyika ino jino enderana ne jido jenyu. 
isu tinokara pamunokara hapana mwengi anoshika pecho nemi nesitara chesu tinomata amen you rest Hello, my name is Bernard Noah. I'm a member of Kingdom Faith Church, Milton Kings. I would like to start by going to Psalm 91 verse 3. That the Lord will keep us all from hidden dangers and deadly diseases. Um, Father, I just want to thank you for life. Now, as we stand on your promises, because your, your word is like a two-edged sword, that everything that we send it for, it pierces to accomplishes wherever we send it for. So, Father, we stand on Psalm 91, verse 3. It says, uh, Neba Amen. Hello everyone. My name is Ursula Baye and I'm a member of the Kingdom Faith Church based here in Milton Keynes. I, I am originally from the country of Nigeria and where I come from, the prominent dialect is the tongue of Hausa. I'm here to pray today for the land of Milton Keynes and for the land of the United Kingdom. During this time where we're facing this pandemic, we need to call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord says in his word that if my people who are called by my name should humble themselves and come before me, I will have mercy upon them and heal their land. So today we're going to stand upon his word today and call for that healing upon the land of Milton Keynes and upon the land of the United Kingdom in the mighty mighty name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we come before you. We stand before you as your kings and your priests, O oh Lord, and we stand in the gap for the land of Milton Keynes and the United Kingdom, and we ask of you, our Father and our King, O oh Lord, to take away this pestilence that is burning upon the land, O oh Lord, to take away this pestilence and make your land the way you wanted it to be. Father, Lord, to bring about your restoration upon this land, O oh Lord, to take away the pain, to take away the affliction, and restore us back to the way you made us, fearfully and wonderfully. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Iya ubangi jimui makasujada. Kene me chetamu. Kene serki serkuna. Meru na sama de kasa. Kene kahali chemu serk sarake de fristochi. Muzo gabanka yo. Amada nin Milton Keynes. Amada nin Great Britain. Munche ubangi jikaya femu. Katsara ke kasamu, katsara ke kasamu, kafe da mu daga wannan cuta da ke halaka mutane. Mun zo gaban ka da suna da muka sani, da suna da ya rike duk duniya hannun shi. Mun zo gaban ka da sunan Yesu. In the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed that our Lord heals our land for he is the one who is our God. Beloved, this is Pastor Sefiso from the Kingdom Faith Church. I serve under Pastor Daniel Matiola. I'm going to pray tonight for the United Kingdom. I'm going to pray that the will of God be done even in this country. Um, what we are facing, the coronavirus. I'm going to pray and come into agreement with the prayers of the saints that the will of God to bring healing, to bring speedy deliverance, to blow away the coronavirus will come to pass quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, tonight we pray according to Second Chronicles chapter 7, verses 14, which says, If my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, turn away from the wicked ways, pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Father, we pray tonight that you will heal the United Kingdom. 
We pray, Father, for healing, healing and deliverance. Father, you said in your word that you will save us from the enemy. You will fight the enemy that is stronger than us. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we are victorious even in this situation. We declare that you are giving strength to your people. Baba siya kulega ibsugu na mklanje. Skulege la United Kingdom. Ugut intando yako yogleta ugu pila. E United Kingdom mayifige. Njongwa bagu njalo e zuluini. Mogu benjalo e mklabini. Baba siya kulega umusa wako. E United Kingdom. Maufige ugu tula. Maufige e inkizuenza bantu. Nkosi. Si leta United Kingdom guwe. Uwe na unga kona. Ugui, ugui pilisa. Baba siya gbonga. Siya gbonga. Siya gbonga. Siya gbonga. Nge nkulu lego. Evela guwe. Nge kama. Elihe. Elina mandla. In the name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Father we thank you for victory. Father we thank you for victory. Even in this situation. We thank you for victory. We thank you for lifting up hearts. We thank you for lifting up burdens in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we love you, we honor you. Wow, awesome. Have you been tremendously blessed? Isn't it incredible just to hear all of these men and women just praying over you and praying both in the English language and in their mother tongue. I remind you again, just like I said at the beginning of this video, our God hears us when we pray. His promise, he said, when we pray, if we believe, we would receive that that we've asked for. He said, if we will not doubt in our hearts, even if we speak to a mountain and say, be thou removed and cast into the sea, that the mountain will move. So I want you to be assured, as long as you are listening to the prayers and you are saying amen, maybe you are even hearing some of the members of the church speaking languages that you don't understand, but you trusted that they were praying and you said amen. I want you to know that heaven is moving on our behalf. The Bible also tells us that if two or more of us should agree as to touching anything, it shall be done. So we thank the Lord that the hand of God is upon our city, Milton King, surrounding areas, Bedford, Northampton, Leighton, Boston. We decree and we declare in the name of Jesus all over the United Kingdom. We pray that your hand, almighty God, be upon our land and that we will be healed. We will be restored. We will be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know he's done it before. He would do it again just like he delivered the children of israel from the plagues of egypt i believe that our king would deliver us from this coronavirus pandemic god bless you stay strong and fear not remember prayer avails much bye for now <laughs>